Good morning, Jeffrey Friedman, Senior Market Strategist, MF Global. Today is the 12th of October. Stock, future comments on direction and why. What's the word of the day? Confusion to me. I'll tell you right now, we had a lot of information that came out, okay? Stocks are up in uh, pre-trading, looking at the stock index future, December S&P. We're around the 1202. Obviously, we have not really broken out yet, but we're getting really close. Uh, the number would be probably on a breakout above somewhere in this area on a closing basis. Um, I would have to say probably above 25 or 24, which would be your high end, your handle's 12. Now, let's go over some of the news. Uh, yesterday, I said the big word was Slovak, and that country voted no last night. That's a negative, you would think, you would think. Uh, Alcoa kicks off earnings season. Aluminum for commodities couldn't beat the street, and the reaction was at least 4% lower in after hours trading. That would be a negative, you would think, okay, on the stock index futures. Obama's job bill got shot down in Congress, you would think that that's a negative, okay? So those are three. What are the positives going into today? Pepsi-Cola beat the street, that, that's kind of important, but I think that that's more of a consumer and doesn't really affect the economy and it's global and global economics. Now. Have said that, what's the other positive thing? Oh, Chrysler, they're going to add 2,100 jobs, not 21,000, 2,100 jobs by the year 2015. What's our date, 2011? So in four years, we create 2,000 jobs. I don't know if that's going to really pull us out of a possible recession double dip. So I'm not getting the rally, but have said that, it looks like a momentum trade going on. Now, I'll say this. We're up seven days, maybe eight. If you go back on a technical point of view and you can't find more than eight or nine days of a rally. So it looks like they're gonna, the momentum traders are buying. They don't know really what to do. You're looking at the bond market kind of going up in yield, down in price. We've ne we should have never been over 140 in the December bond. Looking at that kind of yield or 2% on the 10-year note, however you want to evaluate the 30-year or the 10-year or the twist program from the Fed, I'm saying that the bond market, people are getting a little worried of being long the bonds and the bonds are coming out and they're coming out of the bond market and maybe they're buying some equities for returns and appreciation down the road on an optimistic point of view. I do still think we're gonna fail. The great news, real quick, the great news is that we can now define exactly what kind of risk reward, and that ratio is two to one, three to one, and those are always excellent trades to try to put on, meaning I will risk 15 to make 45. I will sell around 1,200 in the December S&P future and put a stop maybe 15 points higher. If we rally up to 1210, that would be excellent because you could sell 1210, put a stop above 1225, and your hope is that you're gonna go back to your 10-day moving average around the 1150 area and pick up 45 to 50 points. Remember always, trading futures or option to futures involves risk of loss, not suitable for everyone. I wanted to say one last thing real quick. What happens if you get stopped out? You let it break out of this huge trading range on a closing basis only, and then we look to get long on a momentum and obviously reevaluate the data that I've been talking about. But have said all that, remember these tails down here. We broke out and it looked like the world was going to end and we snapped back and that's probably what's going to happen up here. They're going to jackknife, get all the uh, shorts out and then we'll settle back into the range. That's my thought on that. Remember to call me 866-231-7811. Good luck, good trading.